Hi, I'm Enviro. And I'm Lucy Liu. And we are Urban Utilities Water Warriors. Water! Now, here in South East Queensland, Urban Utilities plays a really important role. We deliver drinking water to homes, schools and businesses in Brisbane, Ipswich, Lockyer Valley, Somerset and Scenic Rim. We also remove all their wastewater or sewage and even turn it into useful resources such as fertiliser, energy and recycled water. And the ways and means by which we deliver the water is all related to the natural water cycle. So it's really important to understand that all of the world's water moves between rivers and oceans and the atmosphere and the land. Mm -hmm. And this happens in a continuous circle called the water cycle. That's so true, Lucy Lou. And when we're talking about a cycle, we don't mean going for a bike ride, although that's an absolutely awesome thing to do. We're talking about the natural water cycle. And in the natural water cycle, the sun heats up the water in the rivers, lakes and ocean and causes it to evaporate into the air where it turns into water vapour. And then condensation causes the water vapour to turn into clouds. And then the condensation in the clouds turns back into liquid water droplets. And when these droplets all group together, this leads to the clouds becoming so full of water droplets that they form raindrops. And then these fall to earth as rain, sleet, hail, or even as snow. Awesome. awesome. Now this rain, sleet, hail, or snow lands on the ground, runs over ground and underground and collects into lakes, to rivers and oceans. And we start the cycle all over again. That's right, Enviro. And in the urban water cycle, while the water still travels in a continuous circle, just like the natural water cycle, but some of the water in the cycle is collected and stored in large dams where it's cleaned and treated and used by humans before being released back into the cycle once again. And the water collected and stored in dams is cleaned and tested to make sure it's healthy for us to drink. It's so cool! And after this water has been cleaned and tested, we here at Urban Utilities transport it through lots and lots and lots of pipes directly to your homes and schools. And then you turn on the tap, drink the water, have a shower, flush the toilet or wash the dishes just like that. Magic! Well, um, yeah, it's kind of like magic, but really well-planned magic. Now, all this used water, which we call wastewater or sewage, then goes down the plug hole, toilet or drain and into the sewage pipes. Yep, and all this wastewater is still 99% water, but it now also has other things in it like poo and pee and soap and shampoo and detergent from washing machines and, well, anything else that people put down their drains or flush down their toilets. Where the wastewater is cleaned and tested and useful things can be taken out and used. Yes, like phosphorus. Oh, yeah. Phosphorus? That could be used to make products such as fertiliser for helping plants grow. That's right, Lucy Lou. And some other types of energy are made from waste. When they're cleaned, water is returned back into rivers, lakes and oceans and back into the water cycle. And then we begin the water cycle all over again. Well, that's it for us for now. Hope you've enjoyed learning about the water cycle. Watch our other videos about water and sewerage services at urbanutilities.com dot au slash water warriors water bye, bye everyone. everyone bye, bye. thanks for watching <laughs>